Hello, my name is Paul Kelly and uh, we're here to check out the 2004 Dodge Ram Heavy Duty uh, 2500 diesel and it runs on vegetable oil. I'll show you some of the details inside. Some of the guts of the system are an RDS toolbox fuel tank combo. Holds about 140 liters and on the side we can see some of the veg oil equipment. There's a VM2 filter, a pressure gauge, and I'll take you in to see the rest. In this shot you can see the coolant hoses running to the tank and they have uh, uh, tubing running through the tank to heat up the vegetable oil. On the side you see another coolant run heat exchanger. You see the VM2 filter and a Raptor supplementary fuel pump so that there's no stress on the stock pump. Inside the truck, things are nice and clean. We've got one switch with two indicator lights. When the system's on, you see the red light. When the vegetable oil uh, system actually kicks in, you'll see the green light. And that only happens when it's at the right temperature, so you don't risk sending uh, too viscous a fluid to your engine bay. And under the truck, we have two three-way valves to manage the fuel return and supply. And uh, the, the return line is actually on a timer so that we're never sending vegetable oil back to the main diesel tank. And here's a quick shot of some of the relays and timers that are used to manage the system. And if we come around to the side, way down there, we can see the, uh, uh, the VegMax which helps preheat the oil just prior to injection. And here's the uh, back end of the system. We have uh, vegetable oil, uh, fresh from collection. It gets poured into two thousand liter totes. That allows the sediment to settle to the bottom. And then we pump off the top. Goes up into a uh, 400 liter uh, heating tank. And you can see there's 200 micron filters on the top that we use to filter it on its way in. And then once it's reached uh, 240 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, all the water will be out and we send it down for veg oil systems through a half horsepower pump, through a 70 micron pool filter, and then a couple of uh, automotive oil filters and that gets us down to a uh, 30 micron rating and then I also use a 10 micron transfer pump at the end to make sure that everything going through this has no water and it's filtered down to 10 microns.